Welcome to Top 5 Fridays! Top 5 Fridays! Today, wow. we are talking about the five most evilest, most smelliest Disney villains of all time. That's right. We, we went through them all. We looked at them all. They're yeah. all very bad, but yeah. these are the ones that just take a cut above the rest. They're the worst. And they probably don't shower very much. Not likely. They're no. too busy planning Being evil. evil schemes to bother with hygiene. Exactly. All right. So before we do anything, I'm going to send you down to the thing below us that has the subscribe button. If you click that, that would be awesome. Yes. Then the thumbs up button because mm -hmm. we think you're going to like the evil villains that we picked. And yes. then... Hit the notification Bing. so you don't miss any of our videos. And we like talking about Disney. That's yeah. what we like talking That's about. That's what we do. All right. All right. Let's get right into it. Okay. Number five. Number five. It's Mother Gothel. Mother Gothel sucks. Yes, she does. Okay, so she kidnaps Rapunzel. She pretends that she's her mother, but imprisons her in her tower and uses her to stay young. And then also, like, just is a jerk to Rapunzel. Like, she's constantly insulting her and, like, tearing her down. Yep. She's just bad. She is bad. She's conniving mm -hmm. and you know she keeps using Rapunzel's hair as an yeah. elevator right that's how me hurt. that's gotta hurt that's gotta hurt let down your hair and like I just I she's one of those villains that like kind of is like a real life villain because you've got sort people of. in real yes. life who kidnap people yes. or are abusive yes. or whatever and she does a lot of she it she does a lot of those she does things. a lot of it so it's just like a little bit reminiscent of real life bad agreed. guys agreed yeah mother gotham number She's five terrible. Okay. number four scar yes, oh scar. he's bad he's a bad dude not he's only so does bad. he look like he is going to be bad he is bad he kills <laughs> mufasa mm -hmm. but you know what he tries to do? He actually sends out hitmen yep. after a child. Yeah, just a little baby. A baby cub. Just a little sweet little cub. Yes, and he makes him believe that mm -hmm. he killed his own father. Yeah, he's a real jerk. And if you don't believe it from just those things, listen to the song. Mm -hmm. Be prepared. Mm -hmm. yeah. If his teeth and ambition are bared. Be prepared. Be prepared. Yeah. He's, Who sings a song like that unless no. you're evil? Exactly. He clearly shows no remorse at all, no. ever. He's no. just bad. Yeah. Just bad. Yes. All right. Number three. Number three. <sighs> Judge Claude Frollo from Hunchback of Notre Dame. Judge Claude Frollo, Frollo. is such a bad dude. I say it wrong every time. I know, and you've looked it up in everything. I know, but he... He's bad. Oh, he's okay. bad. He he looks bad as well. Yes. Okay, so here's the problem. Yeah. Is I'm pretty sure they based his character on real life bad guys from back in the day. Oh, he is so a real life So bad first guy. of all, everything he does, he does in the name of God. Oh. Which immediately makes him so evil because everything he does yeah. is so the opposite of and, God. And people have done that lot. Exactly. So he, he tries to uh, assault Esmeralda. She, when ain't, she ain't having none of that. No, and she's like, no, thank you. He tries to burn her at the stake. Yeah. He oh, is, yeah, yeah. like he is so bad. He sings that song, Hellfire, like, because he's think, he's singing about his lust and how it oh. causes him to do horrible things. Man. He imprisons Quasimodo. He, like, I, like he's Lots so of bad evil. things. I think he was a guy who formed a lot of bad habits in his oh life. Oh my gosh. And like, I feel like, I'll be honest, I don't love Hunchback of Notre Dame. No. I think because it's just so dark and it is too much of a resemblance yeah. of real life yeah, totally. past, you know? Agreed. Oh, he's bad. He's yeah. a bad guy. Yeah, I would probably punch him in his nose if I ever met Absolutely. him. Absolutely. So don't bring the character to Disney World because... No, I don't want to meet him. He's me not either. a fun, lovable no, villain. No, not like Gaston. No, exactly. All right, number two. Number two. The evil... Queen. Oh. It's in her name. Exactly. Her name it is the evil. evil Queen. We don't even know her real name. It's just the it's evil her queen. first name evil, last name Queen. <laughs> so she's awful. Mm -hmm. She is jealous of Snow White's hotness, and in doing that, being jealous of her hotness, she decides I'm gonna have her killed, and I want her heart mm -hmm. brought to me. Yeah. Why does she want her heart? That's like next level evil. She wants to like put it on a plate and serve it with a nice Chianti. Yeah. 
Hannibal Lecter style. Yeah, it's what? just in like, the snot bubbles. And just because Snow White's prettier than her. That's I know. It. That's all she did. She so didn't do anything jealous. wrong to deserve it. Yeah. What an awful person. I know. She's terrible. And she then was super when terrible. She turns to the creepy old witch. She's scary, legit scary. She's like legit. nightmare scary. Yeah. Yeah. So evil queen, yeah. easy one, number, number two, two number right. one. Number one. The biggest, baddest one of them all, <laughs> Maleficent. Ching pow! She literally, yeah. in the end of the movie, calls upon all the powers of hell yeah. to power her evilness. Oh, yeah. And like, like, she loves Satan, basically. She basically loves Satan. And not like, she doesn't, like, love Satan in one of those, like, secularism kind of right. ways. No, it's like... She's she, like best buddies. She likes yeah. sings that song. Satan is good. Satan is your pal. <laughs> Anyways, it makes her into a dragon. Oh my gosh. Like, she's legit. Like, I remember watching it with the kids and I was like, mm, this is a little scary. It is a little scary. What was it with those people from like the 40s, 50s, and 60s, and 30s? The evil guys were very evil. Man, they just believed that there was a lot of evil in the world. It's true. And right? there was. They weren't wrong. There no. was a lot of evil in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's not get into all that. No, she is the worst, mm -hmm. the most evil, and it's easy. Even, like, I loved the movie Maleficent. Yeah. But that can't even save her. No. She's so bad. She's so bad. She's so bad. All right. So this has been Top 5 Fridays. The most evil villains of Disney all time. Of all time. Let us know in the comments below. Yes. Do you agree? Do you yes. disagree? Do you think there's some more evil than these? Yeah, and tell us why though. You can't just be like, you're wrong and exactly. I'm right. Exactly, exactly. Because there were a few that like, we were close to putting them on yeah, the list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But some of them are a little bit too like, they're also like comic relief yeah. villains. True. So we didn't want to count those ones. No, exactly. These guys are just bad. These guys are bad dudes and girls and yeah, dudes. They are. And girls? What's the, what's the opposite of a dude? A chick. I don't like that. No, me neither. All right. Okay. Let us know. Bye. See ya.